one of my kids thinks they may be non-binary and I'm saying they for now, but, um, they haven't chosen a pronoun that they would prefer to be used because, uh, they're seven. So they don't really know what pronouns are. So, uh, in order to help us all figure out if this is because, you know, certain kids at school say like the haircut you have is a boy's haircut and they don't like that. Or if this is something that they're really feeling, we want to help under- everybody understand um, what it means to be non-binary and like what the options are. I asked for book suggestions and these were the ones that um, were recommended to me. I started reading through this one and it made me cry. This magical baby was born who couldn't decide what to be, boy or girl, bird or fish. And all of that was fine until they went to school. It seems familiar. I'm hoping for a happy ending. Wow! The land of make-believe! Okay, let's get this straight. The seven-year-old is too young to know what pronouns are, but they're old enough to understand gender ideology and the concept of being non-binary. Okay, okay. That's logical. That makes sense. Anyway, we're back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And guess what month we are in? Yes, Pride Month. And I know, I know, I'm about a week late to the party. I've had a really tough start to the month, so I've been MIA for a few days. But we're going to plow through it and celebrate together in this very special Pride Month episode of Woke TikTok Fails. TikTok Mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. Everything woke turns to shit okay <laughs> that is true just ask how net just ask netflix how it worked out for them anyway thank you guys so much for coming back and like i said i've had a tough start to the month it's been about six or seven days since i've uh, uploaded a video and that's the longest i've gone since starting this channel so i just needed some time to kind of reset recharge the battery but this is my happy place so i'm very happy to be back here with you guys glad to be uh celebrating pride month with you guys along with the miami police department um, as you can see on the screen, looks like they painted their patrol car uh, for Pride Month. This seems like if excellent, excellent use of taxpayer dollars. I mean, what else can you really say about this? Oof. Ha! Gay! <laughs> yeah, so I guess protecting and serving isn't all they're worried about. Now, if you think this is bad with the Miami Police Department, and we've seen this in years in the past, check out this tweet. Now, this is real, and this is from the um, official Twitter page of the United States Marine Corps. So, for our blind subscribers and people sitting way, way, way in the back, let me give a brief description of what we're looking at here. So, we've got the hashtags up top, Pride Month, hashtag USMC, and then we've got a military camouflage helmet that the uh, soldiers wear to battle. It says, proud to serve on the strap, and then we've got bullets in the strap and the tips of the bullets they look like crayons but the tips of the bullets are rainbow colored to match the pride flag hmm. so fucked yeah so when our police departments and our military stop focusing on their jobs and start focusing on rainbow colors and what groups of people want to have relations with like other groups of people, then th- things start to kind of get a little out of hand. So I don't know, we're doomed. Anyway, so we're going to dive right into it. By the way, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes. That is you guys. You guys are to smash that thumbs up button. If you like the video, like that comment section up. Share this video out. We're going to dive right into it. This is a teacher too. Their TikTok handle says something, something queer teacher. Anyway, when I first saw this clip, I'm not trying to be mean here about saying anything about someone's immutable characteristics. I just thought it was a um, one of the, you know, person with a mask on from one of the old Jim Henson Muppet movies. I don't know what's going on, but that's okay. It's uh, what the person says is just complete nonsense. So this whole thing is just really hard to watch and listen to. The comment says, the child, what's non-binary? This should be good. Roll the film, please. That's a great question, sweetheart. Um, so binary is just a word that basically just means two. It's a fancy word for two. They use it with computers when they're coding uh, for computer programs. Um, and if you hear the word binary, it basically just means that there's two sides. So a lot of people think that gender is something that's binary, meaning that there's just boys and there's just girls. But a lot of people don't feel that way. 
Some people feel like they might fall in the middle of being a boy and a girl. They might feel like they're both a boy and a girl. They might feel like they're neither. There's lots of different ways that people might feel. And when they feel that way, it's just called non-binary because it means that they don't fit in what people think is boy or girl. Hope that helps. It's a man, baby! I thought she was a man. She is rather mannish. If that is a woman, it does look like she was beaten with an ugly stick. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what, what, I don't know what we're looking at. I don't, I just know it's a teacher spewing that nonsense to the children and we're gonna keep it moving. Okay, this next clip. And as you guys can imagine, the teacher features that we show, we've shown here on this, hundreds of times on this channel, um, they're having a field day. They're absolutely in heaven, loving life with Pride Month here. It gives them some kind of justification to teach this stuff in the classrooms. Now, this is a teacher. Now, this is videos two and a half minutes long as TikTok. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'll play about a minute of it. Just want you guys to see how condescending this teacher is, how she absolutely doesn't listen to her boss, doesn't listen to the parents, and just teaches the children what she wants to teach. The comment says, it's not your place to teach them. That is the parent's job. Teaching children about sexuality is not the same thing as teaching respect for all people. Okay, I can get down with that. Logical comment. This lady looks like she's got some Freddy Krueger claws going on. Roll the film, please. I have four minutes till I have to clock in, so we've got to do this quickly. Um, first off, it is my place to teach. That's literally my job. <laughs> I'm a teacher. Um, no, I'm playing. I know you did it. I mean it like that. I know you're just homophobic. Um, and for whatever reason, you just couldn't just say, hey, I'm homophobic and leave it at that or just not comment anything. And you had to embarrass yourself like this. And so now I have to put you on blast. Um, moving on. I literally said in that video that you commented on, look at the pinned video. And then I went on to explain it a little bit. Let's turn our thinking caps on, friends. Maybe we should dig a little deeper before embarrassing ourselves like this. Okay, um, I'm not even going to explain the pin video. If you really care enough to know what I'm doing in my classroom, which you don't, you just are homophobic, um, you would have looked at that. And you still can. It's still up. I did all the work for you. It's pinned, and it's the only video that's pinned, okay? Um, I'm not going to speak for all teachers. I'm going to speak for myself. Don't tell me what I can and can't teach in my classroom. If I didn't listen to my boss, why the hell would I listen to you? <laughs> okay? I want to die, you fat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Enough with the name calling. All right, I get it. Like this person, this teacher is not very likable at all. Very condescending, and just. Ugh. But let's we gotta hold off on the name calling. That's not gonna get us anywhere. Anyway, so what else do you really say about that? Just you're evil. Moving right along. All right, let me reel it in a little bit. When I said just evil, that's that's being a little hyperbolic. That lady, evil. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think that that lady with the Freddy Krueger claws has evil intentions to try to hurt people. I think that she's been severely misled and is doing the same thing to these children. So evil. I, there's evil people out there that we see in these videos, but you got to be careful who who, who I uh, mark as evil and not evil. Anyway. Got another teacher here. Shocking. Before we get into this, I got to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video. We have two sponsors. Today's video is being brought to us by first sponsor. Great friend of the channel, Tiff Alicious. Tiff, thank you so much. And I haven't got to the local Home Depot to check out that French Bulldog statue, but I will. And if they have it, I definitely will grab it. So Tiff, thank you so much. Now, Tiff has a ch channel, uh, Tiff Alicious Overreact. Not sure if you've got any uh, content up there yet, Tiff, but once you do, let me know. We'll get that link going to get you uh, get that channel growing for you. So Tiff, once again, thank you so much. And Tiff also checked on me the other day in the comments to make sure I hadn't been kidnapped by the left or something when I hadn't posted for a while. So Tiff, thank you so much. Second sponsor of today's video. Today's video is also being brought to us by Owen Lynch. Owen, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Greatly appreciate it. You guys are keeping this ship afloat as the YouTube's overlords are trying to sink us. If you look back on the last two or three weeks of videos, you'll see that they're, uh, the view count went from way up here to way, way down here. So I don't know what happened with the algorithm or if they uh, hit some button that said, we're not going to show this to many people. I don't know what happened, but it's crazy. So... Thank you guys for uh, keeping us afloat with the smarts. If you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link 
in the description box below and i will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you the comment says why do we need to ask kids about their genders then have them reinforce the box they choose with each pronoun correction roll the film please i'm actually not 100 percent about what this question but i think it's referring to um my asking kids what their pronouns are i've never once reinforced anyone's gender you can change your gender at literally any time my whole thing is telling you that's okay because um as an anthropologist once told me uh gender is between your ears sex is between your legs and that's actually a very simplified version of it that's like not entirely correct but it's basically it genders gender is a, a construct gender is 100 percent something society made up gender roles made up gender attributes made up and if it's made up it can be chosen why should we stick them with what's on their birth certificate <laughs> that is without a doubt the dumbest thing i've ever heard that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard in my life Once again, I, like, I don't think this person, I don't know what we're looking at. As I said, the first, the second one we saw that I thought was a Muppet mask. I don't know, maybe here as well, a Beaker, I don't know. Um, But I don't think this person is evil either. I just think this person was taught the same things that they're, that she's spewing out. I think, I don't know. There's another clip of a roll of film, please. Hi, I want to address something. And I don't have to address this. I want to put that out there. There's no reason that I have to address this. I just kind of want to. Because I feel like people are not actually watching my videos, but reading comments and then commenting themselves. Nowhere have I ever said that I force anybody to wear a pin or to pick a pronoun. I just ask my kids what they're identifying as that day. Some of them ignore the question completely because they're preschoolers and they have other things to do with their very important preschooler time. Some kids get excited and they play with their pronoun, but it's their choice what they want to do. They've never made a kid do anything, ever. You look ridiculous. <laughs> so preschool, take your preschooler to preschool. You're going to be able to meet the teachers if this person comes on, she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach your little your little child." Wouldn't you just be like, oh, oh, "Well, let's see, check the other school on the other side of town." I, I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought. Usually, the hair and the looks like the losing end of a BB gun fight there in the face usually gives it away. But what do I know? Oh, I'm shooting. Moving right along. All right, this next guy's been in a couple videos. This teacher, uh, he's been in a few videos in the past. This is just, what he says is just strange. So bizarre, these people are around kids. Roll the film. Teachers, this is just a reminder that if you have a trans student who doesn't present in the way you think they need to, that's probably from a place where their parents aren't super supportive and they need more support from you. Thanks. You're a sick asshole. If you have a trans student that doesn't present in the way you think they need to. This is not good. All right, let's keep it moving. <laughs> so here we have a screenshot of a TikTok and the pronouns up there. You can't really see them that well. It says they, he. So we have a they, he. Okay. The, <laughs> the screenshot of this TikTok says, why the F, why TF, did I just, did I just get misgendered in my dream? Like why the F my brain allow that? What? Are you off your fucking meds or something? All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping this up sooner than later. I, like I said, I've had a rough week. I haven't been getting much sleep, so if I seem a little off and not like my normal self, just uh, give me a pass on this one. Bear with me. I'm uh, we're getting back to good. We're plowing through it, as I said, but um, it's going to be a little shorter than the usual videos. Trust me, trust me, as we are in Pride Month, there is plenty of content, so we're going to be having 
plenty of videos <laughs> coming out so i just wanted to come back make a quick video let you guys know things were going okay just like i said a recharge a reset and we're getting back into it so um we're in this together guys we're on the front lines of the culture war here so we're in this together i'm not i'm not gonna be leaving you guys with you know hanging on here unless it's uh has something to do with the overlords at the youtubes that decide to get rid of the channel completely then we'll migrate somewhere else but anyway so we've got uh my students passed the vibe check i'm gonna delete this after about the first 10 seconds because it's a copyrighted song i don't know what we have going on here uh Another teacher, roll the film. My students pass the vibe check. How do I look today? Pretty! Oh, thank you! Pretty! Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what uh, makes. I'm the bearded lady! <laughs> I can't even imagine what this uh, teacher is teaching those little kids. I can't even imagine. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so we're going to end it on this video. And this person basically explains what we all know, how it's just big made-up land to make believe for them. <laughs> Roll the film. Happy Pride, everybody. I already mentioned this in my story, but... um. I've added a new set of pronouns to the pronouns that I'm comfortable being called. I've been sitting on Faye Fair Fair's pronouns for a while and honestly kind of psyching myself out about it. I'm like, oh, do I really want to like change this again? And then I like realized I was like, who cares? Like if I decide that I don't like them, I can just stop using them. My other thing about this new set of pronouns is that I would only like for queer and trans people to use them for me. Cishet people, they then. Queer and or trans people, you can use they, them, or fey, fair. It's all good with me. I'm excited because fey, fair pronouns make me feel very affirmed in my not feeling like a person. I don't know anything about what you're talking about. Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares! Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares! And you ain't black!